Yo, 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 it's your boy Wes the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist growing your craft. Now, today we're gonna go over how to track your radio plays for Billboard charts, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's looking into getting your music charted on the billboards, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about doing that as an independent artist, all right? So first and foremost, when it comes to getting your music charted on the billboards, your music must currently be receiving radio play, all right? If your music isn't on any radio stations or being played on any radio stations, that needs to be the first step. You need to contact some radio stations and get your music played on the radio, all right? Now, once your music is being played on the radio or when you're about to get your music played on the radio, because you can do this before or after, once your music is on radio or you've got that set up, all you essentially have to do from that point is encode your music for radio play, all right? Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It's, it's basically all they're doing is they're configuring this, your music so that it can be tracked for radio stations so that the billboard charts can actually start tracking it and start running those numbers up, all right? For, so for you as an independent artist, it's actually very, very simple to do. You don't need to be a part of a record label or anything like that. I know a lot of people say that, but it's not the truth, all right? You can absolutely do this as an independent artist. And the crazy part about it is it's absolutely free to do. You don't even have to spend any money to do this, all right? All you essentially have to do is, is submit your music to be encoded for radio play, all right? And as of as of 2023, there's one company that you have to do, at least in the US, there's only one company that you have to do to get charted for the billboard charts, all right? And that company is MediaBase, all right? Now, previously to this, if you've heard of BDS Radio, all right? BDS Radio that was owned by Luminate, which previously was called um, Nielsen. If you've seen any one of these names before, whether BDS, Luminate, or Nielsen, or anything like that, they no longer do this, all right? They no longer encode your music for radio. They have actually partnered with MediaBase. Now, if you don't believe me, here's the email that I got in November of last year letting me know this, all right? Because I used to actually submit to BDS Radio, but I don't submit to them no more. All you have to do is submit to MediaBase, all right? So when it comes to the actual submission process to MediaBase, it's actually very, very simple. Actually, you could actually just simply click on the link above, all right? And that'll bring you directly to the form that you actually fill out, all right? I'm also gonna leave um, the, the link in the descriptions below so you can find it in there as well. But all you essentially wanna do is, is fill out this form that you see right here, all right? You wanna upload your music to this form and then you wanna submit it to them, all right? So what I'm just gonna do is, I'm just gonna basically go, go through this form with you guys right now just so you can see it, all right? Now, of course, this is something that you can do from your mobile phone. But like I advise everybody on all my other tutorials, it's easier to do this on a laptop or a desktop. All right, bigger screen, it makes it easier. Doing it on a mobile phone can be a little difficult sometimes. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm doing it on my desktop computer, all right? So from the form, the first thing they're gonna ask you to fill out is your personal information, all right? So all your, basically your, your real name, your um, label, uh, title that's, that's associated with the music and everything like that, all right? After you fill out that whole section, the next section is actually gonna be the song information. And the first thing they're gonna ask you to put is your artist name. Now it has to be the exact artist name that you, that you actually have for the song. So if you've already distributed your music, all right, and it's on Spotify and everything like that, you, and you decided to change your name, you can't use that new name. You have to use the same name that you have when you distributed your music to all the streaming services. It has to be the same exact name. That's why they put the exact name, all right? So you wanna go ahead and put the artist name. You wanna go ahead and put any features that's associated with the song. You wanna, of course, put in the label listing, all right? And then you wanna go ahead and put the exact title. That as well needs to be exact like it is in the streaming platform. So if you decided to change it, then you got you gotta go back to the streaming services, remove it, re-add it with the new title, and then do this process, all right? So you wanna go ahead and put in the title, then you want to actually put in what version it is, whether it's a remix or anything like that. Maybe it's a acapella version, maybe it's a live version. If it's just the standard version, you know, you could just leave this blank, all right? Then the next thing it's gonna ask you to put in is the official release date, when the song was actually released, all right? Now, 
Once you do that, the next thing is basically gonna ask is the ISRC, which is basically the code that they will use to connect it, all right? Now, this code you get from your distribution company, all right? So, again, this is a process that you probably have to do before you distribute your music unless you manually got your own ISRC code, all right? Now, if you, if you by chance, happen to distribute your music with DistroKid, then that's perfect because uh, you can click on the link above. And in that video, I'll show you exactly how to find your ISRC code on DistroKid, all right? So if you need to look for it and you don't know where it is on DistroKid, you can watch that video and that video will show you exactly where to find it, all right? So you wanna basically find that code, all right? If you're using another distributor, find that code, write it down and enter it in to this website, all right? Because you're gonna need to have that in there, all right? Once you go ahead and enter that in, if, the, if it's a single, you skip these next two things. If it's part of an album, then you got to put the album title and you got to put the, item, the album UPC, all right? Now, again, that's in the same place that you can find the ISRC code in DistroKid if this song is part of an album, all right? Now, from that point, of course, you know, I don't know why they ask these questions to me. This one is kind of fishy. Like, it's asking if you're an independent artist or not. I mean, if you are, obviously put yes, all right? But hopefully you don't get denied or anything because you're an independent artist, which I doubt, but it's just weird that they ask this. But yeah, go ahead and put yes if you're an independent artist. That's what I had to put as well. All right, then it's gonna ask if it's a Christmas song and it's also gonna ask if it's um, part of a Canadian content, all right? These two, if you're in the US, is probably gonna be no. If you're in Canada, then you actually go ahead and put yes for the Canadian content, all right? Then the last thing you wanna go ahead and put in is the actual artist website. You wanna put the website that's linked to you as an artist. Now, if you're an artist who do, does not have a website, there's a video I also did explaining why you as an artist needs a website. This is one of the reasons why, all right? So if you want to know all the other reasons why you as an artist should have a website if you don't have a website already, then click on the link above because I could list a ton of reasons and I list the most important ones in that video, all right? So if you don't have a website, I understand, but that's something that you need to, that's a lump or a, a bump that you need to cross over in order to really make yourself official. You gotta get over that obstacle. You gotta find a way to, to create a website because you're gonna need it moving forward as an independent artist, all right? But either way, once you actually go ahead and do that, the next thing it's gonna ask you is if you wanna be contacted by Play MPE, all right? Play MPE, they're basically a distribution company. I put yes because I, I don't mind talking to people, all right, and figuring out stuff. But if you don't want any spam or anything like that, then you could go ahead and click no for this, all right? And then the last thing that you wanna do is actually go ahead and upload the track, all right? Now, it doesn't mention any of the specifications for the track here but because i have done this before i already know there are a few things that they require you to have when it comes to what file and things like that that you upload all right so again this is not going to be here they don't tell you anything all right which is weird because luminate used to tell me you know um bds radio actually used to just lay it out and i'm sure there's somewhere at the media base uh, website that they let you know that as well they just don't show you on the actual form so i'm just going to go over those qualifications for you all right so to list them in order the first qualification of the upload is it has the format the file format has to actually be an mp3 file all right you want to have your bit rate at 128 kbps all right again bit rate at 128 kbps then you also want to have your sample rate at 44.1 khz all right now then now if you don't know what these things are i can understand all right i can explain it a little bit further and the last thing that you want to do is you want to actually have no artwork or id3 metadata tags on the file all right these are things that if you do not have, especially the tags, if you if you have metadata tags and stuff on there, they're gonna reject it, all right? And you're probably gonna have to submit it again, all right? But if you don't know what these things are, 
all right or you don't know how to do this leave comments in the comment section below all right if i get enough comments on it i'll actually explain it to you but most of the time if you're dealing with the studio or you're dealing with the engineer all right and you ask them to actually bounce out your music or export your music once you know the mastered version whoever mastered your music you can actually ask them to actually bounce it out or to export it with these specifications all right just save this video on your phone and show it to them or send it to them so that they can actually send you this version of the file because it has to meet these specifics i know they didn't mention in metadata or in media base when it comes to the upload but i do know that it will get rejected when it comes to the id tags and all the other stuff i don't know if that varies but i know all of these things were the requirements for bds so i'm just using the same requirements here if i didn't get rejected here by not following it i'm i'm not gonna get rejected here so just make sure all of those things are right when it comes to the submission process all right then you go ahead and you upload the track all right once you upload the track it should show the track's title right here all right and then from that point you hit submit once you hit submit that's it there's nothing extra that you have to do from that point of course they're going to bring you to this page where it's going to ask you to actually you could add another track if you want to but once they're done doing what they're doing you're actually going to get a confirmation email letting you know that your song is now encoded for radio play and it'll start being tracked from that point all right so it, like i said it's not something that's very complicated it's something easy to do you don't have to pay for it it's not just exclusive for record labels you as an independent artist can do it yourself as long as you follow those steps all right but that's pretty much it now again i have to let you guys know that there's no point of doing any of this if your music isn't on the radio yet all right so first course of action if you want to start getting charted for the billboards get your music on some radio station contact some radio station um network find some people who are hosting radios even internet radios get your music on radio stations so that it could start being charted all right and then you could start telling people that you are a billboard charted artist all right but either way that's pretty much it that's how you go about doing it it's not difficult this is actually the new way to do it all right any videos prior to this it might be outdated because like i said a lot of the videos before talk about bds radio and that they no longer do that all right so this is this is basically the only way to do it and i hope that helped all right now if you have any additional questions in regards to this again if you have any questions in regards to the formatting and things like that leave comments in the comment section below if you're an artist who's possibly looking into leaving your nine to five job and want to do music full time i strongly recommend that you grab my ebook here all right with this ebook it shows you 13 steps to jumpstart your music business so that you could work up to leaving your nine to five job so that you could do music full time. It's what I did, I do music full time now and I want the same thing for every other independent artist, all right? And also, if you notice the new hat, the new hat is actually part of my new single, Keep the Praises Going Up, all right? So if you haven't checked out my new single, make sure you go check that out as well, all right? But either way, I hope this helped. I'm glad you guys tuned in and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Follow his place with accent bows like woo, buddy. I'ma do my thing. Cream of the crop like.